A rock? That rocks! Hey everybody, I'm Argelfump, and I am playing The Beard in the Mirror. The Beard in the Mirror is yours! <gasps> but I don't have a beard. Shave him, shave him. Shave, shave, shave on you. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is uh, an adventure game made by my buddy, Paul Franzen. So, uh, you know, I made a couple of games with him. I was thinking of doing an adventure game, but uh, I'm not sure I can make a game as cool as this one. I haven't played it before, but I'm sure it's awesome. And I'm not just saying that because Paul is here in the live stream chat to make sure that I say nice things about his video game and to make sure that I am wearing the Paul costume. So the main character of this game is Paul. He named the main character after himself. Yeah, mm-hmm. Anyway, so I am dressed as Paul right now. This is my Paul outfit. You'll see when we get started. Paul. Paul, wake up. Who, who are you? Paul, don't you remember me? <laughs> After all we've been through! Listen, I'm sorry if I hurt you, but I don't know who you are. Paul, I... Fade to orange. I mean, fade to black. Man, what a weird dream. Okay, so let's get started with this. Um, yeah, it's, it's sort of like an old school adventure game. You'll notice that we've got sort of, sort of pixelated art. Not, uh, it's kind of like pixel. Oh no, oh no, oh geez, I accidentally clicked through this tutorial. Oh great, now I'm gonna fail. Um, while walking, you can press escape to skip ahead to your destination. You can up, down, left, right, skip through dialogue, click once. If you need help, you can tweet at the <laughs> beard hints for spoiler free tips. Oh, hey, and Paul is actually here. Okay, great. So, good. Paul has finally showed up in the chat. I was gonna say, speaking of Fade to Orange, I have an Applejack. Uh, I got an Applejack Valentine. This was inside a Nancy Drew book I got from the library. <laughs> I, I actually, uh, I went to the library and rented out a, a Nancy Drew book, and uh, they, they had um, uh, an Applejack My Little Pony Valentine inside, and so I decided that would be amazing. Whoa, the door is locked. Why is my door locked from the outside? And Paul is worried I'm going to hate this game. Okay. Um, I don't know. This game could be awesome. So here's how you, how you, you see, you right click to switch through like these things so you can look at stuff and you can talk to stuff. I love having posters in my room. Guys can have pink sheets on their bed if they want. It's my radio. I mostly listen to music on my my phone, but it's nice to have around. Flying out. What is that? Paul, is that some sort of joke? It's a drawer where I keep unimportant things. I'm going to take it. Okay, so we get a quarter. Uh, a crowbar. Crowbars are always useful. And sure, why not? Let's have let's have the plaster hand thing. Okay. Let's see, let's take a look at this. Closet. There aren't monsters hiding in there. The only monsters are in my head. My special antique gumball machine. I put my family pocket knife in there for safekeeping a while ago. Now I can't e now even I can't steal it. So what I think we do is we go into the inventory, we grab the quarter, and we use it on the gumball machine to get the knife. Oh, why do I not need the knife? Paul, come on, I want a knife. You know, from the screensaver collection, After Dark. So that's the name of the, that's the screensaver. So why was the uh, crowbar wrapped in a bow? I don't know. Okay, let's get Paul to move out of the way so I can grab some soda. Just in case I get thirsty. It's my entire wardrobe. I really like this sweater. I like it so much. It's amazing. I really like it. 
Okay, this is creepy. I should probably turn off the <laughs> I should probably turn off the ability to see me. Uh, maybe that would make the game window a little larger. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the first puzzle is to get out of the room. Uh, how do we get out of this room? Uh, let's go with the crowbar. My pink, pink crowbar. I might be able to open the door that way, but it might hurt my poor crowbar. I love this crowbar. Really, Paul? Really? I always liked how this poster depicts subtle perfection of both beauty and form of the majestic crowbar. But it doesn't have your pink crowbar. I guess it kind of has a pink crowbar, but not really. Flying out of the sun. The drawer where I keep important things. Ooh, there's another drawer. So this is a, a letter. I'll just take these letters. Paul, take this map. And a key. Oh, wow. Hey. I bet the key, I bet the key is what we use to get out of the door. What's in the trash? One of the worst parts of living away from home is I have to empty my own garbage now. Aww. I thought, I thought we were going to have a video game reference in there. Homie, don't play that game no more. Okay, we'll try the key on the door. All right. The love story of a man and his crowbar. Wow, there are 50 people watching this. I am totally shocked. Wow, this is amazing. Because when I played Fire Emblem, I would be lucky if I got like 10 people watching me play it. I still don't know why it's locked or where the key came from. But I'm going to go outside anyway. Whoa, uh, Blinks. Ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. It's a forest. That definitely was not there before. Really? Really? I think it was. Wow. I could have sworn this was a hallway yesterday. What in the world am I doing here? Yes, that is the question, isn't it? Ah! I, oh man, it's a guy with a beard. Uh-oh. I've been waiting here for hours, wondering if you would turn up. And now here you are. Welcome back! My lord. Huh? What? What's going on? Who are you? Raise his eyebrows. What's the sound effect of raising eyebrows? Dink! Not just a thief, but a liar. Is that your game now? What the heck are you talking about? Who are you? And where am I? Hmm... If you truly don't remember anything, maybe I should just end this here! Whoa, 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 my beard fell off. Whoa, uh, yeah. whoa, hey, don't! Steps back. Stop! You? And what does the fish girl think she's doing here? I won't let you hurt him. We'll see about that. Oh, man. Oh, oh! Sword fighting. <gasps> you wench! This isn't over! You have much to answer for, both of you. Oh, Paul is saying he needs to record all my voices and add them to the game. Yes. Yes. Yes, you do. Just give, just export all the dialogue uh, through AGS, and then I can just, uh, just do all the dialogue myself. Paul, do you have the map? Map? What map? Who are you? Who was that guy? What was he talking about? And why was he trying to kill me? I need you to focus here, Paul! Focus, you idiot! Do you have the map? The... You mean the map that was in my drawer? Yeah, I have it. Good. You need to take the utmost care with it. You... It's immensely important, although I do not know exactly why. <laughs> Here's something that's super important. I don't know why it's important or how it's important, but I'm pretty sure... It's super important. You, you don't? All I can tell you is that exactly when with the, 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 uh, you'll know what you need to do with, with the map. And until then, you can't show it to anyone. You understand? Yeah, I guess. I mean, no, but please, Paul, you have no idea how important this is or how much danger we went through to get this. Like, it was a ton of danger. Okay, I'll keep it safe, and I won't show it to anyone. I love you, Lily. Now, can you tell me what the heck is going on? Well, 
Yes, I love me too. But I cannot promise to answer all your questions, but I'll do what I can. What do you want to know first? Okay, so we can... Uh, oh, here's how we select dialogue options. They show up at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so let's... Are you the girl from my dream? She is literally the girl of my dreams. You're the girl I saw in my room last night, aren't you? I thought that was just a dream. Yes, I was there. It was no dream. So, who are you? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to this. My name is Lily. I'm here to help you, as I promised I would. Okay, so the dream was last night? Okay, cool. Did, I, I'm, I'm a little confused as a timeline, which is weird, because the game just got started. So it happened last night, or did it happen like the day before? I don't... My hand is shaking now. Uh, okay, so what am I doing? What am I doing here, exactly? If you're asking how you got here, why I brought you here, of course. But if you want to know your purpose here, I cannot answer that. Thanks, Lily. I don't know the whole of it myself. But I can tell you the first part of your quest is one of self-discovery. And hopefully, remembrance. Aww, somebody's saying it's a sweet story about, about, uh, 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 about friendship. Okay, and Paul is confirming the dream was last night about 2 in the morning, and this is the following morning. Okay, okay, so, okay, cool. So, she turned a little, oh, oh, geez, guys, we got a phone call from my mom. Should I answer this? Um, mom's calling. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, okay, um, let's just not answer the phone because I'm playing video games. Sorry, Mom, I know you've got important news, but I'm playing video games. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. you're the one who turned my hallway into a forest. That is not Paul's voice, what? In a way, yes, I simply use a porting spell to connect your bedroom doorway to this land. I'd like, I'd meant to escort you here myself, but when I saw you like that in your room last night, I I lost control of myself. I needed time to rein in my emotions, so I cast a slumber spell on you and left the means for you to get here. I do apologize. Hi. Oh, I can see why everybody at conventions complains that this opening scene is way too long. I, I It's too long. I can't handle it. You promised someone that you would help me. Who was it? Where am I? What is the name? This is the magical land of Oz, but I can't answer anything else. In truth, I believe some part of you already knows the answer. No, I won't say any more than that. Thanks for saving me. Who was that guy anyway? Thanks for saving me, by the way. Who was that guy? <laughs> I'm so bad at doing reading. That's Thurston! Thurston? Yes, he's not a nice man. He's also the prince. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, maybe should have followed uh, started with that. Prince is trying to kill you. Sounds like a good plan to me. I guess I don't have any more questions. At least, not any more I can figure out how to ask right now. But I guess that's okay, because you don't seem to want to give me many answers. I'm sorry, Paul, but you'll just have to trust in me, and also in yourself. And now it's time you're on your way. I wish I could go with you. Wait, you're leaving me? I thought you were here to help me. I am as much as I can, but right now I'm needed at the castle. You'll have to catch up with me there. I know you'll be able to handle yourself just fine. I don't. If you want, I can offer you something from my bag. Oh man, you're welcome to take one of these items if you think it'll be useful. Oh guys, what should we take? The shell, the bottle, or the fish? What do we want? What's with the fish? I don't think you want that. It's my lunch. What's with the bottle? It contains an experimental tonic that my mentor and I have been working on. We've almost perfected it, but it's missing an ingredient. I wasn't working that part of the formula. I don't know what the ingredient might be. In the shell? This is a rare murex mollusk. They're rather hard to come by in these parts as their properties are in such high demand. Okay. So. Bottle, bottle, fish, fish, bottle. Okay. We've got two things with bottles. I don't know. I kind of want the fish. Um... Oh, now. Now we've got another vote for fish. Jeez. Let's go with the fish. We're going with fish. 
You will? Okay, well, I'm not very hungry anyway. Sweet. We got a fish, everyone. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay any longer. Make your way to the castle, Paul. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, so that thing is like a magical warping thing. I see. Okay, so cool, everyone. We are here in the forest. And Paul needs to find his way to the castle. Ooh, look. Whoa. That's a squirrel. I didn't think I was that terrifying. That's some amazing, amazing animation right there. That rock. I want to see the rock. It's a large gray rock, the kind you often see. Can I take it? I want to take it. it. Might be there for a reason. It's a rock, Paul. It's a rock. Hey, neat cave. Very pointy. Somebody set up a home here, too. Hey, let's talk to this random guy. Talk to this random... Oh, I'm, I'm kind of bad at using the mouse thing. Hi there. What do you want? Who are you? Who are you? I, young man, am the guardian of this forest. I was appointed to this position by the great Lord Paul I. And I suffer from polydipsia. Lord Paul the First? Wait, so Paul is a time-traveling king? My name's Arthur, but you can call me Artie. What's that? What do your friends call you? Friends? Who are you? I'm Paul. Eh, yeah, Paul, you say? Quite a coincidence, that is. Who is this Lord Paul you've mentioned? Paul said this is the first screen of the game that he ever made when he was busy making this game with um, Lizzo, who is uh, now his wife, although they were not married when they started this game. Who's Lord Paul you mentioned? Lord Paul I? He's the greatest leader a kingdom could wish for, and I was proud to be of his service. He fought bravely for all our sakes against terrible forces of darkness and made this land safe to be in. And then he and his wife, a powerful mage in her own right, the queen was... Kept all people healthy and happy for a full generation. Come think of it, you look a bit like him, you do. Odd. Oh man, Paul is amazing. Lord Paul sounds like an all-around great guy. And he's got a cool name. Where can I find him? Find Lord Paul? Disappeared 30 years ago, boy. Nigh on 30 years, along with the queen and their son, Lord Paul. Disappeared? What happened? Some say they're dead, but nobody knows for sure. They vanished without a trace. I've been hiding in this forest ever since then, so I can't tell you any more than that. So do you have any other kids? Like me? Indeed. There's a little girl named Berenice. Now she's the ruler of the kingdom. Is she a good queen or an evil queen? She's no Lord Paul I. <laughs> Nobody's a Lord Paul I. But she's not the worst queen ever. And she let me keep this post, so what do I care? Post? What post? Like you're hiding in a cave, buddy. So how you doing, Artie? I'm thirsty, as usual. Oh, I guess we could have given him some... Let's give him some soda. Nice talking to you. Off with you now. Do we have soda? We have the soda. Come on, somebody tell me we grabbed a can of soda. Here we go. Artie, have some soda, bro. How about a drink? Thanks, I'm parched. Mmm, liquid. And had a bit of a kick to it, too. Got any more? I guess I do. Can I have your rocks? Don't touch the rocks. Don't touch the rocks. Hi there. What do you want? I'm supposed to go to the castle. Okay, I'm supposed to go to the castle. Do you know how I can get there? The castle. Oh, the castle. The, the, the. Go left, young man. Good luck taking it, though. Some nice rocks you got there, bro. Mine. How you doing, Artie? Thirsty. Okay, so it looks like we're finished with Artie. That piece of cloth is covering the entrance to another room. Uh, hey, is that my family crest? Your family has a crest, Paul? What? My family doesn't have a crest. Alrighty, so I, I'm pretty sure we have a tree here in this one. Yep, it's a viney tree. Looks like a thirsty animal is hanging around here. I 
and Paul is over here. Okay, so guess what? We've got a giant three-headed monster. Yikes! And we've got sunglasses. Should I put on the sunglasses? I'm pretty sure they're awesome. Hello, my good man. <clears throat> How are you this fine day? <clears throat> Can you speak at all? <clears throat> right. Say, you're rather handsome for a huge hulking ogre-like creature with six heads. Gracias. Okay, so Paul is saying, yeah, he and his wife worked together on writing in the story, and she basically did the artwork for this game, which is kind of amazing. Actually, it's way better than the pixel art I've been trying to do for my own video game. May I pass? <laughs> I think it prevents me from, like, passing. Grrr! I guess that won't work. Grrr! Ah, uh, I guess that won't work. Is he speaking muffly Spanish? Is he hungry? Maybe he needs a rock. Hey, could you help me out here, Artie? What's with the giant monster? Hi there, what do you want? I'm supposed to go to the castle. Any thoughts on getting past a giant multi-headed scythe-wielding creature blocking the path? Oh, so you make cog! Pleasant chap, that one. He and I enjoy a game of poker on occasion. Not really much of a challenge, though. I fear having so many heads has dulled his wits a, bit, a touch. Anyway, as you've most likely gathered, it's his job to prevent Riffraff from taking the paths to the castle. Precautionary measure for the festivities, you understand. Only those who are authorized by nobility are allowed to pass, and if anyone else tries it, he's to deal with them as he sees fit. And he takes this job very seriously. So how can we get past him? Don't you listen, boy? You'd have to get permission from a noble. Or you just have to be a noble yourself. <laughs> you do bear a strong resemblance to Lord Paul I, but your looks alone won't be enough to persuade Karg. Do you think that it's possible I'm related to the first Lord Paul? As I said, I do see something of a resemblance. His son, Lord Paul II, was but a child when he and his parents disappeared from this land. But I suppose he'd be about the right age now to have fathered someone like you. Oh, hey, I'm Lord Paul III. Awesome. Someone your age, I mean. Not someone with your obvious lack of wits, idiot. Hey. So how can I prove I'm noble? With extreme difficulty, I would imagine. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Bah, there lives a creature in the northern part of the forest who may be able to help you. Visit the tree, boy, and <gasps> take this stone with you. Carrying it in your possession will allow you to speak with the creature. Its language is otherwise imperceivable by humans. However, I must warn you of two things, of course. First of all, the creature is indeed intelligent. It's not also a true denizen of the forest. It's not as civilized as you or I. Take the utmost care when speaking with it. All right, and, and the second thing? If you do not leave, if you don't give this stone back to me before you leave the forest, I will know it, and I will kill you. Awkward. So let's go forward and meet the beast. This game does have a save save thing. Okay. So I can save my game. Make sure I don't die. Oh, here we go. This must be the creature Artie told me about. So I need to use the stone. I have my magic stone. I've got a score. I've got a score of six. Oh boy. I've got a great score. So use the stone on the creature. I think I just need to have the stone with me in order to talk to the creature. I don't have to do anything. Oh, okay. Hi, creature. My name's Paul. Hello. I'm not so sure why I thought that was a good idea. I said, hi, what's up? Hi, creature, what's up? You're an amusing creature, you know that? What? Who said that? Me, over here. Hi. What? Holy good lord. You can speak? When you can listen. 
Um, what are you doing? Feeling you. Oh, this is creepy. I'm getting felt up by a vine. So, uh, what do you think of Artie? The guardian of the forests? I think I may have made a rather poor impression on him. He's avoided this place ever since that time I stuck a stone from his pocket and threw it into the forest. I mean, really, I was only being playful. Do you know any way I can prove myself to be of noble blood? Noble blood? Hmm. Do you want me to feel your blood? What? No! Gross! No! I don't know what else I can do. Being a vine, I rely primarily on my sense of touch. One thing I can say about you, though, you have a wonderful feel. This is creepy. Paul, why did you make such a creepy game? You remind me of another, come to think of one. It, one I've not felt in a long, long time. I remind you of someone else? Oh yes, a young man who visited me here in the forest many years ago when the second growth was coming in. I'll never forget the gentle way he brushed his skin against my leaves. Perhaps I like your feel because it reminds me of his. Oh, Paul is saying his wife wrote this character. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, yeah. I believe you, Paul. His name was Paul. Hey, I bet that was Lord Paul. You know, that's my name, too. His name is my name, too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, Really? What a funny turn life takes. I think you may be related to that, Paul. You seem curious and kind as he was, and your feel is so similar, so warm. Oh, jeez, no one's ever said anything like that about me before. Wait, you're not just saying that stuff to lull me into a false sense of security, are you? See, this is why nobody compliments you, Paul. You're, 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 you're very suspicious. Because if you are, it's working. I only speak how I feel, and I feel a lot of things. Would you be willing to vouch for my relationship to Lord Paul? I would, and I would do anything to feel you, if it's not too forward of me. Yeah, I, I, it's it's way too forward. So, 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 could you tell Karg? Do you think you could tell Karg? Well, I'd be glad to, but I don't believe I've ever met Karg, and I can't leave the grove. I'm rather stationary, in case you haven't noticed. Y you were like moving earlier, that, like cool. That that's moving. However, there may be something I can do. Oh, what's that? I'll let you take a part of me so you may speak with Karg. But you must promise to keep me with you forever so that I may feel you forever. All right, that sounds reasonable. Then I offer myself to you. Cut me, Paul. Cut me so I can feel something. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, I think we're going to have to get the knife get the knife in order to get the rock. I, I mean, in order to get this vine. Okay. You know what? I, I think this there's nothing else I can do here. Let's just end the video on that high note.